Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a model of a differential equation, and they say a scientist has gathered three sets of values for y, a, b, and c, and they ask for which set of values is dy over dt, or this, the greatest. So really, they just give us different y, a, b, and c sets of values, and we just need to plug and chug uh, the different options into this equation and see which option gives us the largest value. So let's start with option A. We're going to plug in 1 for y, 4 for a, 9 for b, 7 for c. So we have dy over dt is equal to the square root of a times b times y, which is 4 times 9 times 1 respectively. And then all divided by c, which in this case is 7. All right, 4 times 9 is 36, times 1 is 36, all divided by 7. All right, so far so good. Let's go ahead and find the decimal for that. We have square root of 36. Oh, yeah, I guess I know that one, huh? That's 6, all divided by 7, so we get 0.857. I'll just call it 0.8 six for now. So we have that. Let's move on to option B and repeat the process. So we have dy over dt equals the square root of aby, which is eight times seven times three, all divided by c, which is six. Eight times seven is 56 times three. Eight times seven times three is 168. Let's see what happens if we take the square root Whoops, all right. Square root of eight times seven times three, all divided by six. And we get 2.16, all right, so far, 2.16 is larger than 0.86. So we can eliminate that because again, we are looking for the greatest dy over dt value. Let's move on to option C. We have a times b times y, so from c, we have 4 times 9 times 6, all divided by C, which is 8. All right, let's plug this into Desmos. Square root of 4 times 9 times 6, all divided by 8. And that gives us 1.837, or 1.84, if we round. And so of these options, it looks like the option B, dy over dt value, was the largest, was the greatest. So we break out the eraser and we see that B is our answer.